Hello everybody, it's PRT Snowman bringing you Dark Souls 3 best soul farming method. That's right guys, I'm going to show you how to get the most souls out of your time. So first we're going to want to go to the Grand Archives, which is where we're at right now. Grand Archives bonfire right here. As you can see, there's the boss bonfire over there and then we're here. I don't know what that is over there. I might be wrong. But you're going to want to go to your inventory and you're going to want to equip the Shield of Want, the Sun Princess Ring, the Silver Serpent Ring, and the Symbol of Avarice. If you have a second Shield of Want, equip that if you're a New Game Plus. And if you have the Medicant's Staff, you can equip that instead of the second Shield of Want but it's very hard to get I don't know if you want to take your time to get it or if you already have it go ahead and use it but why we crypt the Sun Princess ring is because it negates the effects of the symbol of avarice the symbol of avarice takes away your HP over time and this negates it just a little not completely so don't worry do you not want to die then you're gonna want the coiled sword fragment if not some homeward bones if not those then just walk back to the bonfire and it's not that far of a trip so we're gonna start off with oh and one last thing you're gonna want the spell report the spell report is what's going to help us do this soul farming. So let's start off by equipping the symbol of avarice and running to this elevator. Go ahead and hit that button. You can either, if you don't have any sword fragment, sword, coiled sword fragment or homeward bone, go in front of it and don't let the elevator go back down. If you do, go like this and just have the elevator go back down, saving you a little bit of time. Then you're gonna wanna head up these stairs and just keep going on. Follow me. Have your, what, um, flame in your hand ready? I forgot what it's called. You're going to want to pop your head up, have those guys jump down, and cast your spell. All you got to do now is sit back and just watch them battle it out. They're going to battle it out so you can just get those souls and sit back. Make sure you equip your shield of one if you have it. If not, then just sit back and watch. As seen in this right here, a friendly my friendly killed the dude so we're just gonna go up here and backstab him collect our items and then cast her spell on this enemy right here and just do the exact same thing now you're gonna get 77,220 souls from killing all three of these enemies within two minutes if you do it fast enough. And after killing that third enemy and collecting the items and souls, go ahead and TP or teleport back to the bonfire using a coiled soul sword fragment or using the homeward bone or just walk back and just rinse and repeat. And you will be at a million souls in about a good, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. You're going to be at a million souls. If you have the right items, as I've shown in this video, you're going to have these items and more if you go the extra mile. But don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more Dark Souls, Mafia, and everything else watch dogs 2 comes out november 15th i'll see you guys later